My name is Satvir Khalsa. I'm an assistant professor of medicine at Brigham and Women's Hospital, Harvard Medical School uh, in Boston. Uh, I also work closely with the International Association of Yoga Therapists as the editor for the International Journal of Yoga Therapy. And for the past 15 years, I've been doing research full-time on yoga, uh, in particular yoga as a therapeutic intervention, but also for quite a few years on yoga in the public schools. So there's a good deal of research now that shows us how yoga practices are exerting their effect on our psychophysiology, on our performance, on our mental state, our physical bodies, and even on our behaviors. And I like to think of this um, as coming through several different types of um, activities. So one is through the postures, the breathing, the relaxation techniques. We are having a direct impact uh, on the physical body. People are improving their flexibility, their coordination, their muscular strength, their balance. Um, that leads to a physical self-efficacy. Um, another component that, that is changing is basically what we call self-regulation. That's the ability for us as human beings to control our internal state. And the two areas that are really important in terms of that kind of control are self-regulation of stress and self-regulation of emotion. So a lot of the evidence, a lot of the research that we have on yoga's benefits is done in adults. So the issue is, okay, can children practice yoga and do they get the same benefits? Now, like, like many fields in yoga research, this, this field is in its preliminary stages and there's not that much research, but the research we have is indeed very supportive. But yoga is effective at kids, it can be used in kids, not only can it be used in kids, but it can be used in clinical settings with kids with disorders, whether it's diabetes or depression or anxiety. And a lot of the reports that are coming out show that these kids are able to achieve the same benefits and the same progress that adults are achieving. So we know that yoga is, is, is functional and, and applicable to kids. So moving into the school environment um, with normative populations of kids, I think we're also starting to see the preliminary evidence is showing the same kinds of positive benefits. Improvements in mood, improvements in self-regulation, improvements in mindfulness, improvements in behaviors. Um, and some of the qualitative studies where we interview the kids and we ask them, you know, what's, what's happening in your life as a consequence of your practicing yoga, we're actually getting anecdotes that really do reflect this kind of behavior change. So, for example, um, it, one child in a study that we uh, did um, reported that she started to eat less junk food, less candy and ice cream. And you have to bear in mind that we weren't teaching nutrition, we weren't making dietary recommendations. That came out of her yoga practice um, and likely due to this increase in mind-body awareness. So we can see signs of the positive behavior change taking place. And, and the most marked one is really um, uh, stress and emotional control. So for example, one of the things that kids learn very quickly is the breathing techniques. So suddenly they're reporting that they're using the breathing techniques just before an exam and it helps them function better. They'll use the breathing technique when they're angry with their, with their sibling. And instead of shouting at them, they'll take a few deep breaths, calm themselves down, and then they can communicate more rationally and not let the situation uh, get out of proportion with respect to their emotional interactions. So these techniques are viable, they're useful in kids, and they can make a difference in the school setting. Uh, in fact, in one school where we have had a yoga program for a number of years, we did a focus group with the school administration. And this school, of course, has had yoga for a few years, and it's now permeated to some degree the culture of the school. And one of the comments from the school counselor was that yoga is making our school a better place. So really what's happening here is that as we improve the functionality of these kids, overall, emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, we're starting to see a change in the group as a whole. The whole class starts to improve. As the whole class improves and you've got multiple classes, then the whole school is improved. So, and on and on it goes up. So, I mean, if, if we can see the implementation of yoga in schools globally, I believe we will see an improvement um, in the quality of human beings that are coming out of our schools.